Good morning, Elise. Good morning. What are you having? I'm going to make banana ice cream. Banana ice cream. And a little papaya. With a little papaya. And yours truly will have some papaya as well. She's having a little papaya, I'm having a lot of papaya. Let's see what I'm having. Ooh. So we got one papaya, two papaya, three papaya, four papaya. Four papayas for breakfast. And we're gonna head to the gym. And when I come home, I'll probably have another four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten papayas. So it'll be good. All right, so here I'm scraping out the seeds and I'm trying to be quite gentle because in the center of the papaya, it has the sweetest bit. And most people typically scrape that out, not really knowing it's the sweetest bit with the most nutrition. And so when you're scraping, just use like the edge of the spoon and just be very gentle. Make a whole bunch of small little cuts in there, just little um, pullbacks rather than just trying to like scrape it out all in one go. Um, that center bit is like really, really delicious. And if you continuously scrape that out, then you're going to miss out on a lot of good nutrition. So take your time scraping these out. Spend a good 15 seconds getting the seeds out and uh, you'll like them much, much better. Hey guys, so normally I wouldn't be having four papayas. Normally I just have like one or two and then go do a bunch of cardio. But lately I've been doing a lot more strength training, so instead I want four papayas. I want a bit more sustenance, a bit more heaviness to my body when I go push some heavy weights. Um, I think there are enough skinny fruitarians in the world right now, so I want to put on some a bit more muscle and uh, see what this fruitarian diet can do for muscle gains. We got the beautiful crumbles bowl and then the matches the papaya. All right, and here I'm scraping out the papayas into a big bowl. Normally I would just eat the papayas one at a time, but for whatever reason I felt like eating them out of a bowl this morning, so I just atypically scooped them into a bowl, and I'm gonna eat it here like a nice big bowl of dog food, except it's human food, it's fruit, baby. making the banana ice cream here it is check it out so delicious such a good sized bowl probably a little too much for a pre-workout so I'm gonna have half of it now and then half of it when I get back and I'm just gonna put it in the freezer whatever I don't eat on top is shredded coconut flakes and some cacao nibs walk into the gym the gym Oh, the guy. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So after the workout, I come home and I have a banana smoothie today. Normally I don't blend the bananas, but today I just felt like blending them for you guys here on camera. So I don't know exactly how many bananas I put in, but it felt like about eight or nine of these small little guys.
along with the bananas, I'm also putting in four papayas. I love blending papayas with bananas, adds the juiciness with the caloric density. That's pretty easy. Alright guys, so the papaya is all cut up, ready to go. Now it's just time to scoop it in the blender, add it to the banana mix, and uh, use the blender up. So to get it in the smoothie, I scrape quite gently because I don't want to scrape the actual skin. Sometimes there's like some gnarly stuff on the skin, but as you can see now, the skin looks clean, good enough, good to go. The sweetest part is in the center of it, so if you do waste a little along the edges, it's not too big of a deal because you know most of the nutrition is right in that center bit. This is where most of the nutrition is. All in that nice, gorgeous center bit there. So that's like the most important part. If you happen to waste the rest of it, that's okay. Because you should be living in abundance. And in nature, there would be no waste. Everything would be composted, recycled, reused, regenerated, and refurbished to create a beautiful fruit forest. There's a lot more where this came from. Every day we go to the market, we see tons and tons of papayas, and we know not all of them are being bought, a lot of them have to be wasted. So what at least I do is we buy bulk, we help out a lot, and we just buy so much fruit, so hardly, so a lot less of it goes to waste. Anyways, this is a really basic smoothie. Got a lot of carbs, man, and a lot of hydration. And I just, every rep you do in the gym, every rep I just did in the gym, use carbohydrates. If you can get enough calories from carbohydrates, it means you're gonna be getting enough protein, you're gonna be getting enough amino acids. Enough calories equals enough protein in the human body. You don't get protein from your actual fruit, you get it from the amino acids in the fruit, which then get converted into protein in your body. So people say, where do you get your protein? Well, I actually don't get it externally. I get my amino acids externally from the fruit, and then my body converts those amino acids into protein. So it is true that fruit doesn't have protein. Definitely, that's true. I don't need protein, no, I need, amino, I need amino acids. And when I get enough calories, I get enough amino acids. And when I get enough amino acids, I get enough protein. It's that simple, guys. It helps me really confident about this sort of stuff, especially when you're talking to people who uh, consume a lot of protein powder and telling you you should eat meat and you should eat more cooked food and stuff because you're not getting enough protein on a fruit diet. But I've been doing this diet long enough to know the ins and outs and uh, yeah, man, this, this smoothie too, pretty much any smoothie that you have as a post-workout smoothie can also be used as a pre-workout smoothie on a fruit diet. If anyone's like trying to like sell you something as like a pre-only or post-only, it's an immediate red flag, man. Red flag should go up because the food should be so healthy that you should be able to have it before and after. These papayas are so good. I'm, I don't even want to like blend this part. Mmm. Mmm. The reason I don't do smoothies often, to be honest, is because the fruit is so good and it tastes all different, like every papaya is different. I want to get the individual flavor, the unique flavor from each papaya. Mmm, it's so good. Like I could easily just eat these like this without blending it. I'm just blending it up because I got a lot of bananas. bananas I want to use up. And it's kind of fun just after the workout. I'm really exhausted. Just chill, sip my smoothie, chew it up without having to constantly peel, eat, peel, eat, peel, eat, peel, eat. Spend five minutes doing this and then the next 20, 30 minutes sipping the smoothie, making sure to chew every bite. So this is it, got the papayas, I got the bananas. I'm just gonna add a, just a touch of water just to help. Now ideally, when you do this smoothie next time guys, don't do what I did, don't put the bananas in first and then the papaya, put the papayas in first and then the bananas and then you won't even need to add water because the papayas will be juicy enough to help it blend on its own. Um, always put the juiciest foods in first in the blender and then the heavier foods on top. It's just like when you're eating, always put the juiciest foods in your mouth first and then the heavier stuff after. But I'm just gonna, a little bit of water right here. That's just hardly any right there, right? That's it. So you don't need to totally obliterate it and blend it for 16 minutes. You can just blend it for, you know, 5-10 seconds there. And uh, it's all nice and mashed together there. Mmm. Oh yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That hits the spot right there. That hits the spot. At least you gotta try this. You gotta try that. On the counter. Mmm. <laughs> so good, huh? So smooth. Yeah, yeah. those bananas are amazing. Mmm. Eat some Namwa bananas and then these berry bananas. Good stuff. That's the post-workout smoothie. I'm gonna eat this and then maybe a couple hours later I'll have something else. See you then.
And Elise is gonna finish her breakfast. She froze that. <laughs> Clearly. That's your breakfast, right? Yep. Breakfast part two. That's the skin rub test, baby. That's the skin rub test. You know your food digests easily, gets absorbed and utilized easily by the body. When you can just rub it right into your skin. Mm. A lot of people will be eating things like nuts and seeds, and if you try and rub a walnut or a cashew or an almond or even like something like, you know, uh, sesame seeds or um, chia seeds into your skin. You know, you can make yourself bleed. But rubbing this stuff, no problem. This right here is just papaya and banana. Two fruits, even mixed together, it digests so easily. You can tell because it rubs right into the skin. The reason I want to show you this shot is not because I want you to look at me do the dishes. It's because I want you to understand that when you eat fruit, it's kind of like putting fruit in a smoothie glass jar like this. And then when it's time to detox and cleanse, it's so easy for the body to do so. Like, all you got to do is add a little bit of water and you're good to go. You don't need to be scrubbing super, super, super hard, man. Fruit just comes off so easily because it's not sitting in your body cooking and being baked in there for so many hours. It's just in and out really easy. So you stay nice and clean and pure just like this jar. All right, crew, time to have a couple bananas because bananas are something I like to eat when I'm feeling a little bit like eating some food. Now, there is definitely a difference between hunger and just wanting to eat. And when I used to eat cooked food, I experienced hunger, like I, need to eat it, I needed to eat now. But on a fruit diet, it's more like, yeah, I could eat. Eating would be cool right now, but I don't need to eat now. Like I can go for a run or go for a swim or go for a bike or go work some more. But it's like, while I'm home, and I feel like eating, let's have a little bit of food. Mm -hmm. And I'm also not specific about what I have to have. Like I'm okay with having a papaya or a banana or a tomato or a mango or something. Whereas when I used to eat cooked food, I used to think like, oh, I need like X cooked food. I need like Y cooked food. I need like Z cooked food. Like I need that specific cooked food. Mm. The reason I don't say the cooked food names here on camera for you, like I'll happily say banana, I'll happily say papaya or mango or, you know, grapes and cherries. I'll say specific fruit names, but I don't say specific cooked food names because then it puts an image of that cooked food in your mind. And here on this channel, I want people to be able to come to this channel and watch these videos and be inspired to eat raw vegan fruitarian fresh raw living food. That's what this channel is about. So by saying the names of cooked foods, it'll put that image in your head. So focus on the fruit at all times and uh, you get more of what you focus on. So many fruits here, man, in this house. Mm. Bananas are good. They're filling. But it's nice to have something hydrating. When I want hydrating foods, I'll have some papayas now. Now it's like I either want something calorie dense, dates or bananas, or something juicy, like papaya or mango. All the papayas, these are actually Elise's papayas. And these are some of mine. And these are another some of mine. And these are organic ones ripening up. These are actually really good. They're not a Rambutan. They're not a Longan. They're not a... If you know what these are called, let me know. The way to open them is you just twist. So you grab, you just twist. And they open, just like that. So it looks the same as like a rambutan or something, but it's definitely a lot different. The skin doesn't detach from the seed as easily. It's really nice flavor though. Mmm. 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 It's like purple, it tastes like purple uh, pop, purple soda. You ever had that purple drink? The reason I don't drink too much water either, a lot of people drink water, water, water like crazy. Why would I drink water if I'm, all I'm consuming is like super high water content fruits? Totally understand people when they consume a lot of dates and bananas, you want some water as well. For sure, I have some water. But the best type of water in my opinion, coconut water. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Like deeply, deeply enjoyable. Mmm. Wow. That is a fruit, man. That is a fruit. Alright, papaya time. I'm gonna cut up a few papayas now. 
and see how many I eat. I think I'll eat, judging by my eye right now and by my stomach, I think I could fit in maybe six papaya. Let's cut up six papaya, shall we? A promoter. Did school fail you or you failed school? School failed me. School's failing entrepreneurs every single day. Because it's not built to, for entrepreneurship. It's really good, guys. Wow, this is super good. Hey, Elise. Mm, mm. This is way too good not to share. So melon is one example of a fruit that you can easily live on for months. And Osborne lived on melons for six months straight. Mm, mm, incredible. Mm, mm. So I'm gonna eat this whole half. Now wait till Elise comes, then she can have part of this half. Put that sucker in Ted, hand. whenever he gives me food, he gives me like the hugest spoonful ever. The hugest. Biggest. And I just like small ones. You can take that away. Right? Mm. Yeah. Whoa. So good. It's really good. Super nummy. Mm -hmm. Dude! Yeah, like it makes it's you want to. It's so juicy. It makes I you want to jump for joy. That's what it is. It's, it's really water dense and like soft. Mm. For sure. Cool. I'm okay. One more bite. You need it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, so good. So. That's like drinking water. So, guess what happened? Here's the story. I went up to the till. I said, here's the melon, like a full melon. And she's like, alright, that'll be $13. And I was like, well, I only got 10 so cut it in half. And she's like, okay. So, don't cut it in half for me. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. So you just gotta ask. Most people, most people say, oh, well, then I can't get melon. And then they complain saying they can't afford to be fruitarian. It's like, just ask for what you can afford, man. Cut it in half. I didn't know they could cut it in half. I just asked. Eat, eat, eat. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, that's it. That's a day in the life of what I eat. Now you know everything. I basically had papayas for breakfast, and I had papaya banana smoothie, then some more papayas, and then I finished off with a melon. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to these videos, and watch the video that comes up next when this screen ends. Adios. Oh man. This is the first video of Elise I ever saw. Someone had asked me, they're like, Ted, have you heard of Raw Alignment? And I was like, who? And they sent me this link. And I was like, yeah, she's cool, I guess. And I saw you in real life, and I was like, who's this girl? And over the course of a year, 99.9999999% of my calories come from fruit. Here are the three main things that I adore about eating just fruit. The first thing is that 